Hey folks, Mac T back, Mac T Garage, and uh, hey, like, subscribe, join all that good stuff to this channel, and uh, also, hey, hit that super thanks button before I get into this. Free short blocks! That's right, Ford is giving out free short blocks, and uh, we have a customer satisfaction program that uh, is hot off the press as of June 9th. Yes, that would probably be, uh, you know, today or something like that. But uh, anyway, uh, the subject is the Customer Satisfaction Program 21 and 12, and that is certain 2017 through 19 model year fusion escape vehicles equipped with a 1.5 liter GTDI engine short block replacement after coolant intrusion. That's right. That coolant intrusion thing is finally getting some some uh, traction. Anyway, he also referenced Customer Satisfaction Program 19B37 Supplement Number 4. And then, of course, Technical Service Bulletin TSB 22-2134. And is dated uh, the 19th of 2019, but this one for the Customer Satisfaction Program is dated June 9th, 2022. Now, Program Terms. That's what you got to pay attention to because you're going to have to make sure you can abide by them. And I'll have a couple little suggestions if uh, you sort of fall out of line on that. Uh, this program provides at no cost, one-time repair, if needed, to the 1.5 L short block due to coolant intrusion to the cylinder bores for seven years of service or 84,000 miles from the warranty start date of the vehicle whichever comes first so that's from the vehicle in first sale date okay so let's keep that straight not how many miles you bought it and all this other stuff from the first date of its sale when it was sold new off the lot or whatever the case may be but this is a one-time repair program that's right if a vehicle has already exceeded either the time or mileage limits this no-cost, one-time repair will last through the 30th of November, 2022. So here is another thing I'll cover at the end, but if you have that problem, you've exceeded it, and it's not November 30th of 2022, you still get a new short block. And the coverage is automatically transferred to subsequent owners. So if you're thinking about selling your 1.5, you can let them know, hey, you're covered under this up until these points and these years and mileage and everything else. Now the vehicle's covered is uh, it's a little tricky here. We got the Ford Escape 2017 through 2019, and uh, the assembly plant was Louisville, and we're talking September 17th, 2015 through April 8th, 2019. Now, the Fusion is the 2017th, and that was uh, assembled in Flat Rock, and its dates are 1 October 2015 through October 16th, 2015. So there's only one month for that 2017. Now, the Fusion for the 2017 through 2019 at the Hermo Hermosillo plant, wherever that is, October 6, 2015 through June 10th, 2019. Okay, so you do have a, a couple of different places and dates where they're manufacturing them, and you need to make sure you meet that requirement. So if you had a 2017 and it was manufactured in January of 2015, you know, at the Flat Rock facility, you're out of luck. Uh, that's all that comes down to. Uh, and the vehicles are identified in the Oasis. So if you're in doubt, go to your local Ford dealer, take them the VIN, and they'll look it up in the Oasis, and they'll say, eat or eat, one of the two. Uh, then you can also do some other things I'm going to recommend. Now, the reason for providing a no-cost one-time uh, repair. In some of the affected vehicles, the 1.5 EcoBoost engine may exhibit a low coolant level, white exhaust smoke, and or may run in a rough condition with or without aluminum malfunction indicator light with only diagnostic trouble codes or DTCs of P0300, P0301 through P0304, P0316, P0217, P0318, 
P1285 and or P1299 stored in powertrain control module, the PCM. This may be due to coolant intrusion uh, in a in a, into a, uh, onto a cylinder bore. Now service actions. Dealers are to inspect for these DTCs I named and if they're stored to PCM they must confirm the presence of coolant intrusion into one or more of the cylinder. Now if the cylinder bore has it uh, and the criteria is met they will replace a short block. That means folks you're not getting a whole new engine you are just getting a new block with crank and pistons and all that stuff. They're going to reuse your old heads and everything else on the engine. They're just giving you the block with the, with the actual pistons and crank and oil pan and all that good stuff. Or it might not even be an oil pan, I don't know. But you're only getting the block. You're not getting the whole engine. So they got to rip this all apart, take the head off, put the head back on the, uh, on the new block, all that good stuff. But you do get essentially a new engine at that point. Uh, note that uh, 19B37 must be completed in Oasis prior to the 21N112 being available. So, you know, you got to go through the steps that Ford has set. Now, here's the deal. The letters for this uh, notable customer satisfaction program are going to be mailed to known Ford Fusion owners of these vehicles where they're registered in whatever state. They will mail them out the week of 20 June 2022. So uh, you'll be getting a letter in the mail and they'll tell you that your Fusion is whatever. And if you know who the new owner is, if you sold it, you might want to let them know, but they'll probably get a letter too. But hey, if you have this coolant intrusion issue, it's probably well worth the effort to go and get this thing checked because this could save you a lot of duckies. Uh, here's the deal. Uh, you might ask yourself, well, what if I had a 2017 and I ended up paying Ford? Say I had a Ford Fusion from uh, Louisville uh, or from uh, Hermosillo and uh, it was a 2016 and it wasn't under warranty and I ended up having to buy and have the engine replaced. Here's the deal. Call Ford customer satisfaction uh, up, you know, customer service. Make sure you got all your receipts. Tell them that you had to replace your engine due to this recall. And then provide them with all the receipts and everything and work with them. Don't get mad, but work with them. And I'm, I'm not going to guarantee it, but I'm willing to bet that they may give you some money back out of that deal. So uh, since this is covered it, and it's covering these models, they may refund you some of the money that you put into having this engine replaced or the whole amount. I don't know, but it is definitely worth that phone call to the Ford customer service number and uh, start an action on that to see about getting refunded on it. But you will have to prove the receipts and have all the documentation for whoever you had to do it so that they can verify it and everything else. I'm not guaranteeing it, like I said, but it is darn sure worth the effort if you paid out of pocket for this uh, to try to get your money back on this because that's what this customer satisfaction program is saying, a new short block. So they might not pay for a new engine, but they may give you what they consider the equivalent for a short block job. So it may come nearly to pay for it. Who knows? But it is definitely worth the effort, folks. And uh, you want to make sure you get this and uh, get your vehicles in. Especially if you're exceeding the time frame and you have a poor running escape or a fusion. And uh, you're having water, you know, coolant intrusion issues. And it's not within these dates. You want to make sure you get out there before November 30th, 2022. And get it taken care of if you exceed the years and the mileage. So you want to make sure you do that. So hopefully you find this uh, informative, helpful, and save you money. Remember that super thanks and all that good stuff on there. And uh, like and subscribe to my videos. And don't forget to go to Matt T. Ford Edge 
on Facebook and also Mac T Garage on Facebook. Also, I have them in the same name on MeWe. That's right. So you go to MeWe if you want to, you know, jump all, jump through those uh, hoops there. It's not too bad. And matter of fact, I love the filing system in MeWe. It makes Facebook look horrible. But uh, it that's what I'm trying to provide you is free assistance and help, folks. So uh, go ahead and do that. Remember, my feet hit the floor today. I'm having a great day, and I know you'll have a great day if you get a new short block. Mercy Girl always has a couple one-liners, and who knows, it may be a, just a tad bit of music at the end for the Panda One. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos, and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Girl production.